the name of Jesus who guides our way and gathers us in for this time of worship and prayer, welcome to Westminster, an affirming ministry in the United Church of Canada. I'm so glad you could uh, join with me here this evening at the church for our time of prayer. As you can see, I changed my mind and decided to record here at the church instead of at home. Our decorators, Jim, Don, Mark, and Heather, uh, have done such a great job. Um, it seems that to show it off as much as possible seems like a good idea. So here we are. I'm glad you're here. We acknowledge the land and territory on which we gather. We acknowledge with gratitude the inhabitants, ancestors, and presence of Indigenous peoples in Canada. And we worship as we live on the ancestral territory of the Fort William First Nation, part of the Robinson Superior Treaty. If you'd like to name the ancestral territory that you are on today, uh, feel free to do that. I'll just remind you quickly that um, on Saturday here in our parking lot from two till four is our Christmas cheer and our children's sock and underwear drive. Um, so um, Christmas cheer donations are the uh, best done in the form of a check made out to Christmas cheer fund. Um, and those will be delivered, those checks can be delivered for you. Um, underwear is for ages four to 14, new in package. And those can be dropped off here on Saturday and the folks uh, will deliver those to where they are to go as well. And a reminder that uh, this Sunday we will be celebrating the Sacrament of Holy Communion. Uh, so when we begin our worship, you will want to have not only your Advent candle ready to light when we light ours, uh, but also your elements to share in uh, our time of communion. As we are in the first week of Advent, we light the candle of hope. We pray, bless us on our Advent journey together. Guide us in our waiting and help us to encounter the scripture messages of this season in a new way. Keep us tuned to your grace and glory as we look for signs of hope all around us. And all this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reading is from the prophet Isaiah, who speaks a word of hope that God would tear open the heavens and come down to be with us. He speaks also of those who wait. So this short passage really speaks to us in this Advent season of anticipation and hopefulness. From the 64th chapter of Isaiah, we hear, Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down so that the mountains would quake at your presence as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you, who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. May God bless to our understanding this reading from sacred scripture. This is the witness of God's people. Thanks be to God. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, says the prophet Isaiah, pleading for God to make that relationship between creator and creation even stronger, even closer. The plea comes at a time of great struggle, so Isaiah's hope is that God will come to restore 
the people of Israel to a time of safety and peacefulness. It's a plea that says, God, let us meet you in a new way in these difficult times. And of course, in our Christian faith, we believe it's a plea that was answered in the form of a tiny, vulnerable child named Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. The video I posted earlier this afternoon is perhaps familiar to you. It's based on the Christina Rossetti poem, first published in 1885. It's called Love Came Down at Christmas. And some of, here are some of the lyrics. They're very simple lyrics, and they're very powerful. Love came down at Christmas. Love, all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angels gave it a sign. Love shall be our token. Love be yours, love be mine. Love to God and love to all. Love for plea and gift and sign. As we look around us this week in search for signs of hope, Perhaps our, perhaps our greatest hope is not that different from that of the prophet Isaiah. Our hope is that God's faithfulness to us and love for us will be shown once again this Christmas. And it will be shown in plea and gift and sign. Our plea that God will tear open the heavens and be among us. Our gift, the Christ child, the answer to our plea, and our sign, the love of God that's revealed in every act of kindness and every act of compassion shown not only in this Christmas season, but all year round. In the birth of Jesus, God's love was made real and lived among us, and by the gift of the Holy Spirit, the promise is fulfilled that God will not leave us alone. God will not abandon us. God will always be near. Our hope in this Advent season of waiting is that each of us, as people of faith, will become gift and sign to a hurting world in need of hope. And that each of us, by our very lives, will declare that, yes, God did tear open the heavens and come to be among us. And that God's abiding love will be born again this Christmas. That is our hope. That is our gift. That is our sign. Thanks be to God. I thought tonight I would share a version of the Lord's Prayer written particularly for the season of Advent. It was originally created many years ago by the English Language Liturgical Consultation. But honestly, I've adapted it so much they probably wouldn't recognize it anymore. But still, credit where it's due, right? Let's begin our prayer. Let's pray. Our Father and Mother and Beloved Parent in Heaven, hallowed be your name. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting One, Prince of Peace, hallowed be your name. Jesus, our Brother, you came to earth in human form to a lowly manger so that all creation might be enfolded into your embrace and drawn into your holy and perfect presence. Emmanuel, God with us, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Prince of Peace, make your kingdom complete. May we prepare a way for your realm, wherever there is violence and hatred, wherever there is oppression and injustice, wherever there is quarreling and alienation. May we prepare a way for your perfect peace, where the wolf will lie with the lamb and the leopard will lie down with the kid, in us, through us, and around us, your kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread. Bread of life, feed us with your truth. In a season of greed and selfish desires, may we see that we are sustained only by your providence. May our eagerness to open our gifts pale in comparison to our joy in receiving the gift of your love and blessing. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. God, our lives are filled with ethical and moral struggles. We need you not to remove our wrongdoing so much as to guide our way toward making good choices that are life-giving and healthy for all. And when we do fall short of our best choices, help us to learn and grow from it. In our worrying during this Advent season, God bless us. In our yearning for the peace only you can provide, God, guide our way. Come to us, Jesus, and be among us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Protect us from the constant dangers and enticing temptations we face each day. Deliver us from the oppressive influence of apathy, addiction, and abuse. Strengthen your church for the work of the gospel. Comfort all who are suffering in their bodies, minds, or spirits. Give them health, and peace to sing of your power and your presence. Bless all of our essential workers who provide what we need during these difficult times. Bless those who work while we sleep and all who provide care in these challenging and difficult COVID times. Bless the researchers and scientists working to find a vaccine and treatments. God bless all who are struggling at this time and enfold them in your mercy and your care. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Word who became flesh and lived as we live. We have seen your glory, full of grace and truth. Tonight, we join with all the communion of saints through the ages and with the angels singing their joyous praise as we offer you blessing and honor and glory forever. Amen. Friends, may God's Love sustain you and hold you through this night. May God's grace give you strength for tomorrow. And may the light of God's love bring you hope. And may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of us this night and every night. Amen. Thank you for joining with me for this time of prayer. Um, 
And do please join us Sunday morning at 10 o'clock here on our Facebook page. Um, and until then, be calm, be safe, and always be kind.